server tiering war server is not is is perfect if you need a little danger in your life a little danger a little danger bollocks it's lots of danger it says population low so yes yeah we, it's not going to be a lot of players on there trust me what nation are we going with uh england are we going we're going english this time are we okay uh oh, oh okay so pirates are a nation yes pirates oh, okay. are a nation Yes, it's not a an, an affinity. They're an actual nation. So, what what are the benefits to going Great Britain? Uh, I have no idea because territory um, gets captured a lot on this server, uh, and if we log on. And we get in there and we find out that the British are not very dominant, then this could be very interesting. Well, I think we should go British then. Yeah, should we give it a try, yeah? For our kinsfolk. I call myself Captain Spike. Um, and yeah, I've got the name. I'm hitting start. Even though I get portaled into the port, I'm quite happy to do that. Because <laughs> it's safe. <laughs> and we're going to start off with little ships, is that right? Yes, yes, we're in a cutter again. Okay. All right. right, so if I look at the map... Okay, it's not... It's not too... It's not too... Well, it's about the same. Nothing's really changed, I'm, that I can see. Uh, oh, well, no, actually... We're a little bit being dominated by the Spanish. It looks like. If you look at, if you look, at, yeah, it does, doesn't it? If you look at, uh, if you look at Cuba, the north side of that on the PVE server is taken over by, is owned by the Spanish, whereas the pirates have got the entire coast area off, and then southern um, Cuba is owned by um, the British, which is normally yeah, yeah. owned by the pirates. So that's interesting. British have got smatterings here and yeah. there. How do you take a port? Um, no idea, because I've never done it before. Um, and I can tell you how many people are online. At least I was able to. Uh, here we go. I just need to move my text green away from the bottom. How the hell do I do that? There we go. There are 120 players online. Okay. If you go south to Guatemala, there is an island there called Great Corn. And it's a free town. So, if we wanted to practice taking a town, maybe that's the right one to go for. I don't know if that even makes sense. I don't I'm know if that's. Sorry, if, I'm not sure if it come if if the towns come up with, uh, it, it it on the PVE server it flags it up saying you can take that part. Right. So I think it might be the same thing for this. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, uh, I'm okay. about leaving this port right now. Mm -hmm. This could be interesting, right? Yeah. Do you want to... Yeah, you can't. We can't really do a cargo run because our our ship will be overloaded. Uh, the weight's too much. We can do a passenger delivery if we wanted to. Well, we don't have to take all of the stuff, do we? Uh, so when it oh, no, um, I'm talking about a mission. Oh, mission. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Should we have a look at what's going on in the trade-wise, then, with what you were saying there and what, let's see what's right. here? So, there's 598 tools. 
So that's quite a bit of stuff there. So let's it's see. quite expensive though. Oh, we got no money again. We've got no money again, remember. So we're going to have to do a mission, aren't we? Yeah, just to get ourselves going. Passenger run. So if we can do a passenger run where we can stay close to the shore, then we don't have to worry about the big nasty brute. Well, the closest one to us is Pedro K, which is just south of us. Just out of interest, how do you know where we are? We're in Kingston Port Royal, mate, in Jamaica. I see it, yeah. The circle on the map. I got yep, it. there's a circle on the map. So Pedro K is right directly south of us. Cool. Do you want it? Do you want? Should we give it a go? Yeah, I think so. Right. Okay, so take that Pedro K mission then for passenger delivery. Uh, missions are in the book. That's yeah. correct. Yes. Is this a passenger delivery? Yes, it's a passenger delivery. Make sure it says Pedro K. Gotcha. They'll be in your cutter straight away. There's also one going to Bone K. Yes, there is. Um, is, is you, you, let's go for it. Let's do both of them. And let's do we'll both. A bit more money. Yeah. Bit of extra dosh. Yeah. Because we can we can take more than two people most definitely. Because you know they don't weigh very much humans, do they? <laughs> I don't know. Some of them do. <laughs> <laughs> See, so if you look in, you look in the trade channel, and I know in the nation channel. Somebody said they can't find anything to trade for profit, and then somebody says grow tobacco <coughs> and sell it would be the best guess. I, uh, I guess sort of thing. Um, so, if you can, uh, let me go away to add somebody. No, okay, what's your um, what's your name? What did you Sim call UK. it? Sim Sim UK. UK. Is that it? Just that? Yeah. No captain or anything like that, no? Uh, capital S, capital U, capital K. Is it, is it all one word or spaces? Space in the middle. Got you. Crouping, right. Um, add you as a friend. So if you... Uh, if you right-click on me... Oh, no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, right, so I've got you in the group and everything. Um, you've got two people to go, so we're ready to go, yeah? Yeah. Right, leave port then. Good. This is probably not going to be as bad as I think it is. <laughs> he says, as we get set upon and destroyed instantly. There's nobody here. I mean, there's, some, there's somebody out there. It's a trade of snow. Oh, look so, unlike... Sea of Thieves, the map will not tell everybody where we are, right? No, exactly. No. Okay. No. This uh, this boat just spawned in and sailed away looks amazing. Oh, I can't see it yet. I've got to swap my hard drives over. All right. Because this one is slow. There's a French pickle at, um, just outside of the area. This is going to be horribly interesting. I think he's sailing straight for him. No, it's gone past him. My game takes an awfully long time to load in. All right, okay, I'm with you now. Are right, you ready? Who, who, who's, who's spawning? Who's? Oh, I see that ship in front of us. French pickle is right directly in front of us. Are you ready to go? He's French. He can't come yes. in here. Why can't we attack him for another 20 seconds? Because we've just spawned in. Is he going to attack us? No, he looks like he's going to port. He's going into port. Okay. Are you ready to go? Ready to go. He's, he's off again. He's an NPC. Yeah, he's an NPC. He's not a player. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, point full sail up. We're basically going south with a bit of west. Yep. We're basically dead ahead. So should we be avoiding ships? Uh, or uh, 
I mean, you can you can keep an eye on if you click on the, each of them and keep and keep an eye on them, and if you, you they'll flash up as enemy player if they're an enemy player. We seem to be all right at the minute. There's a battle going on. Two British ships are fighting a French ship. Battle rating 350 versus 90, so they must be fighting an NPC. So these are mostly NPCs then? Yeah, it looks like mostly NPCs are here. At the moment. Don't forget, it's there's only like 120... Well, no. Yeah. There's 100, 111 people online, so... There's still NPC boats kicking around the game and things like that. <clears throat> the sailing straight through that battle didn't actually involve us in the battle. No, it, no, it won't. No. Are you? <coughs> you have to, you have to trigger it. <laughs> Is there like a, a spyglass? Dude's coming in from the side here. Look at that. Um, sort of was. Uh, there is in. I'm pretty sure there is in the combat section. <laughs> I don't think there is on this one. Scared as I thought I would be, to be honest. Privateer over there. Boom, com. I've seen if I can find a player. Great snow. Spyglass is left shift. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh. Got a bit of detail to it, hasn't it? Very difficult to see when you're travelling at this speed, though. Yeah. Jim Connolly just gone by me. Well, so far, this doesn't feel that different. And yeah, no, it's about the same, isn't it? There's a lot of lot more ships I've noticed, but yeah, seems to be a bit more alive, perhaps. Like, like we we were in the pirate area area as well, so like th this is a bigger tra trade area sort of thing. So right, right, right. I don't see more boats around here. That makes more sense. Right, island. We are approaching Highland. It's around the other side of it, though, of the port, I think. Yeah, it looks that way. Island. You're dropping me, mate. 24 knots, I'm at. Yeah, you're doing two more than I am. I'm going to go round to the port side and come... Sorry, round to the starboard side and come round to port. Okay. Sounds good. That's pretty much what I was going to do. You're enjoying it a lot more then? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, it, and again, uh, I think you said before, it's more fun with somebody sailing with someone. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, it just it helps fill in the gaps of. So how many people can you have in a what was the, what did you call it? If you're Six people. About, talking about a battle fleet. Is he talking about a group about a a, 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 a battle? Uh, possibly, yeah. Yeah, uh, six. 
So that's six each side or six in total? Six each side. Okay. Well, that could be quite good. Yeah. So what was the other thing you were talking about? A clan. How many people can you have in a clan? It's like it's like a guild sort of thing, you know, like on World of Warcraft. So could you have two battle crews of six engage yeah. in the same battle against an enemy? Uh, um, well, maybe, sure. yes. I think you could. Because it says that when you go into the battle, you can't have more than six. But well, we make... that's just you and your group. So maybe you can have two... 12 people go and go in and fight i mean when you tested the game and showed it on that video that i watched a few years ago yeah mountain of ships in there that's true there were quite a lot in there there was definitely more than 12 wasn't there yeah probably about 20 you, odd i don't know how the hell you managed to do that no i can't remember actually Is this the port entrance? Am I in the right place? No, it's round. It's round the other side of the island. It's here. It's here. It's here. Yeah. It's the place with the big writing. Uh, uh. Oh, we're gonna have to tack in. I mean, the price. The price of it, I think, for the base game and stuff, is is quite reasonable. To be fair. Fifteen quid. Yeah, considering what it was when the game first came out, which was thirty pounds. Yeah. And that that like I literally had to beg my my good lady to buy me this but when when I knew that the devs had sorted it, kind of it started to pick up some better re better reviews, and then it's nosedived again, sort of thing. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah. yeah, we're going on to the next port, aren't we? Should we have a look in the shop and see if there's anything... Drop off some passengers here, aren't we? Yeah, we could see if there's anything... Well, we're going to get paid some money, aren't we, Tell. We've got a few stuff here. Grapefruit, white pepper, fine fabrics. Oh, nice. Fine fabrics are a reasonable price. So is grapefruit. Right, let me just drop off my don't forget to drop off your passengers done that awesome. you've taught me well sir oh good i'm pleased oh wow yeah uh we get quite a bit of profit on the grapefruit Fifty-one thousand. pedro k we can sell the grapefruit at 260 where we're at yeah so i must have yeah it's 300 so it's nearly 400 where we are yeah there's, there's nowhere nearby we can make a profit on that is there how much is it to buy it can you just just tell me dead fast 400 to buy right okay so and the i'm very place. very far out and i still don't see any way the best place we can get is uh it's 236 kilometers away uh, it's too far, 976, um, which is um, Les Mer no. So, open up your map, dead fast. Yeah. Right, and look at so the island that's just to the east of um, Jamaica, which is. Port, Port of Prince and Santo, Santo Domingo and La Vega. Oh, sorry, north of. No, it's uh, to the east of um, Jamaica. Uh, where's Jamaica on here? It's just above where we are, where we just come from. Kingston Port Royal, where we just come from. Oh, right, okay, sorry, yeah. Yeah, and then you see the island that's just off to the, the right L of that. No, La Vesey. Yeah, and then and then the bigger island. Yeah. Yeah. So if you look at the inlet of the island itself that's 
on the left hand side of the island itself. Port of Prince. There's, yeah. There's three British places. Yeah. Just to the north of St. Mark is Le Les Whatever. Yeah. They are buying grapefruit at 976. Oh, well, that's double your money territory and a bit more. And it's not that far. So if we drop off at Bone K and then come back here and grab them grapefruits and sail up to there, we can make a bit of coin if you're up for it. Uh, I think I'm getting different prices than you. Oh, Legonave's. I've maxed my bar out completely on grapefruit. So my distance is completely maxed out. And then I've clicked distance and and done it as the furthest away. Yeah. 238,000, yeah. <sighs> that doesn't look like 238,000k to me. Yeah, I know, right? Probably 230. Or is that 238 nautical miles? Yeah, it must be. Right. That makes a lot more sense. Do, do, do you fancy that? I think it's easy money. Right, okay. So we'll go to Bone K first then. Um, and then we'll come back to Pedro K and pick up the grapefruits then. Roger. Um, or should we get them now? Just to no. make sure that we've got them. No. There's not a lot of players online, so I wouldn't have thought that they'd, they'd disappear. That'd Let's go fine. back and then we can make some more money. Let's go back to the other place and we can make some more money. I'm leaving port now. All right, he's away. See, once you get loaded in, you're, you, you get loaded in nice and quick. Yeah. Right, there's a player there. He's got three boats. He's, he's on our side. Where the hell are you looking? So if you turn your camera oh, yeah. on the right, right mouse button and click on, it's called Dimson. Dimson. Yeah. So there is another player. There's a Commodore. Is that good? That sounds good. I think that's quite high. If he's playing authentically, he shouldn't be messing with us, should he? <laughs> yeah, we're savage, mate, us. Needs to watch out for us cutters. I, I meant more because he's, you know, part of the same country. Oh, yeah, yeah, he won't, <laughs> he won't attack us because we're, 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 he can't. He's, he, he physically can't. Oh, he can't? Okay. So no, he can't. The game, the game won't let him. If we were pirates, it might be a different Anyone. Game. If we were pirates, anyone could attack us, right? I think, I think we could get, I think so if we're British and we decide, do you know what? We hate everybody. Can we change to become pirates? No, no, we'd have to start all over again. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can't change your affinity halfway. Quite a few limitations to the game. Well, if you think about it, though, because if, if um, let's hypothetically say that the war yeah. is not, not going your way. And everyone swaps sides. And yeah. Everybody swaps sides. It doesn't make it, it makes it totally unbalanced. Yeah. Um, that, is, that is a very good argument. And, and that's one of the biggest gripes I've got with Planet Side because you can do that. And I, right. love that. I don't know what that is at all. Planet Side is a shoot 'em up where you've got three factions that war each other on a, on a planet um, and you have to take points over. Yeah. And if you capture every single point, then you've won the planet. You've got okay. tanks, aircraft, all sorts of stuff in that game. It's a really cool game, but you can quite easily switch sides. And that's what people were doing in the game. It just highly ruins it. Yeah. It does totally, 100%. But it's not a game where you like you have to take this certain point. You can literally go behind enemy lines and take over point capture zones that they've already, they already own behind their lines, which was a lot of fun. But I love, I used to love doing that. Oh. 
I just wish this game had like a first person view. Yeah, where you can like on be on the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool that wouldn't it? So I think we've done quite well. We've got 50 grand out of these two passengers. Yep. If we can pick up some trade here that we can sell back at the other port, I think we'll have over 100k by the end of this little first intro. You would have thought so, yeah. That's pretty good going. That's better than my first attempt, where I sailed in one direction for seven hours. And <laughs> <laughs> Everybody died of starvation and then we crashed into a, an island. You didn't have me, mate. That's what it was. Yeah. Not totally my own arm or anything. <laughs> You're playing on your own trumpet. Yeah, totally. 100%. <laughs> so I've, I picked up uh, um, uh, another another gravel for my uh, AI pilot to fly. Oh, down. okay. Down. How did you do that? I, I, I got it on the cheap. Right, like second-hand. Yeah, I got it on the second-hand market for 77000 Cool. Um, the downside is it's in France. <laughs> right, but, but the computer can fly it there for me. That's going to take weeks. <laughs> yeah, how long do you think it's going to take for that gravel to get from... from the, from? the I'll give you the location. Oh, my the, God. The west side of France... To Papua New Guinea, how long? My genuine guess is that it's impossible because that little aircraft has not got enough uh, yeah, of a yeah. fuel tank to reach. Uh -huh. So you're going to have to island hop like a madman. It's going to take three months. It's not, it's not me that's flying. It's the I know, the AI, yeah. I reckon yeah. three months. Five and a half days. Is that all? It'll be here next Monday at 20 to 3. Uh, that's, a, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't know it's, whether they've like loaded it into a, 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 a in, into a flipping cargo plane or something, but uh, yeah, it'll be here in five and a half days. That's. Do you know I have I have missed out on a few secondhand aircraft that I would have bought by it, now because it, of the distance. Thinking yeah. that the distance would cripple you, but. No, it's. Uh, I was expecting quite a while, but it said five, five days. It's going to be here real time, twenty to three next Monday. That's awesome, mate. I did say to you. I, I don't know if you saw the message that as the VA we would pay for a plane. I did say that, and I did reply to you and said it's oh, okay. okay. I'll put it all sorted out, and um, yeah, the plane's on its way. Um, I've also managed to cheekily get um, a job. I dropped a job off for about four grand and then I managed to pick up two narcotics jobs. One going um, halfway back to Tarpini and the other one going into Tarpini. So I'm going to make an extra 10 grand. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So you've got that under control then. That's good. Yeah. So you're going to have your AI doing... Mate, I, I get them doing about four or five jobs a day, something like that. Yeah, it's got to be done, mate. Try and fill them up for the whole week if I can. Uh, consumables. I don't know. Resources trading. Oh, they got coconuts for cheap. You're loving this, aren't you? I'm, 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 I'm having a lovely time over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a coconut. I like it, like it very much. <laughs> Coconuts. Coconut, 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 coconut. Just selling some fish that I managed to fish out of the sea for Ooh. a few reals. There we go. Look at that. Rainbow. Mate, we're going to make a killing. I've oh, got 50 grand here. Right, so we're just sailing straight out and going to get that grapefruit, yeah? Uh, well, I'm looking at the coconuts and I think we can make some money with the coconuts as well. Yeah, you've got to remember that we've only got a hold that will take £150. That's okay. 
Got to remember that. And my weight at the minute is 9.9. .9. Right, are we going to have a look at the coconuts instead? Mm. The Cayman Brac is a Spanish port and it's a little bit dangerously out of our safety net. So forget that. Get the coconuts, yeah? Get the coconuts. Right, okay, so let's head back to Pedro K then and we'll go pick up the grapefruit and go to that place that I said and then we should be golden. And then also, the, the sailing on that should get us decent experience to get us to the next rank. Lovely. And what happens when you rank up then? What does that... What, it means what we, get, we unlock, more, unlock more ships to sail, my friend. Because we can't sail them unless we have the rank. Roger. Which means we can get potentially get two ships. We can get one for trading and we can get one for combat. We can get ourselves oh, yeah. a brig for trading. And we can get ourselves a um, either a snow or a rattlesnake for combat. All right, that sounds good. That sounds like we've got a bit of a lucky break you, on the start. You want to stay on this server and add, add to the risk of getting butchered by players? Yeah, I don't see why not. All right, okay. No problem. I think, uh, you know, the more we play, the more battles we get into, the more we'll learn. I'm thinking also we could be quite, you know, aggressive and sort of head into Spanish water and start taking out their uh, NPCs. Yeah. Yeah. If we find one of the right rank and whatnot. Yeah. Well, there's quite a bit of sailing still, which is good. Once we get once we get out of the Pedro K port, I'll um I'll stick my phone on and we'll stick a timer on and we'll see how long it takes us to get to that other port to drop the coconuts uh, the grapefruit off. Give it a time and see how long it takes at max speed. Okay, well it's taken On the recording, we left at 30 minutes. So when we get to the next port, we can I can give you an accurate time on that as well. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. There are, Oh, hang on. I've got cannons on my boat now. Oh, wow. Cool. That's probably because it's PVE on the other one. And that's why Could the be. cannons aren't there. Yes. Well, go on. Yeah. I've got no crew on my boat, which is a bit weird. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it's um, open world. It, it's probably too much of a load for you to have crew running about the ship. I don't know. You were going to yeah. say something else? No, I was going to say, I mean, there are elements of the game I wish were different, but yeah. Yeah, I am enjoying it. There's no denying that. Now I'm actually grateful that they've sped up the sailing aspect of the game yeah i mean like you can get more done and stuff we thought we thought it was a uh, an absolute travesty and then like we realized it you know it's not really is it <laughs> if it, it means you have you ever played black sails uh no we due to the fact that Sea of Thieves didn't work. We ne for for me when it came out, we nearly went and bought that and played that. Right. Uh, but no, I haven't played it. But go on, I do know about it. Well, it's just, it's just that it, it is a sort of a first person. I mean, it's old now. Um, if you compare it to the likes of Sea of Thieves, it's a bit dated and whatnot. But you know, if this if you were able to be first person on the deck of the ship then yeah, maybe you'd be looking for something a bit more realistic, but it's not really. It's more like a combat simulator than a sailing simulator, isn't it? 
Yeah. Which is also okay. You going half speed over there or something? I went full. It's just that you seem to be catching the wind a hell of a lot better than I can. Doing 25 knots. What are you on? Yeah, I'm doing 22. Hmm. Wow, well, what can I say? Got Ainsley in my blood. Yeah, you haven't you? British cutter just off to our right there. Yeah, yeah spot him. What you got planned tomorrow? Tomorrow is RTS day. That's right. Um, so I think I've got a few games that have been sent in my direction for review. I haven't made a review for ages, not a proper one. So I need to get myself back into the routine of making reviews as well. What's Friday? I'll have to look at my phone. I forget what Friday is. I know Monday is farming day. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, oh. I, I don't know whether you saw in my message yesterday. I, I've uh, gone and looked at um, the map. Well, I've gone and Googled, and I've found you three UK maps for you to look at. Yes, I did. Uh, yeah. I did see that, and thank you for that. I saw one that I like the name of. Um, but I'll take a proper look at them. Uh, was that Born Heath, maybe? It was, yeah, strangely enough. Yeah, yeah. Born Heath, you start off with a field of grass, but if you use these dev tools, which is on the mod hub on the, in the actual game itself, you can mod it so you can put any bit of crop in the thing to start off with, which is what I like to do. And that's the only time I mo modify anything. Because you don't want to be starting off with a bloody field of grass. It's just depressing. <clears throat> well, both of them look all right. I mean, I'd, I'd play on either one of them over Carmston Farm. But it's your stream at the end of the day, and if you like the look of Carmston Farm better, then go for it. We'll <clears throat> figure yeah, it what's, out. What's Friday? Uh, just looking. Sorry, is that a reply to an email there? Um, did you know there's a Winter Games 2023 coming out? Uh, no. No, just out of nowhere. So that's quite exciting. I, oh. I love the Olympics, man. Oh, All right, you're a big that. Olympics fan, are you? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. when, I was, when I was a kid, right, How long I, used to write, I used to write 10 countries down. Right. And then I would time myself running 100 metres and it would be completely random as to which country uh, that point went on. Okay. So for 10 attempts, I had to give it 100% just in case it was Britain. And the only time I ever knew that Britain was the people I was running for is if it was the last one. Well, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I was doing 100 metres, I was doing long jump, I was doing javelin, I was doing shot put. I even made little gold medals. I had everything, mate. I was so into it. Bloody hell. If I even... Mouse... God, sorry, mate. It's all right, mate. If you mouse over grapefruit really quickly, it does actually tell you, and I never noticed this before, it does actually tell you how many um, grapefruits your ship can carry. It says 28 for me. That's pretty handy. That's pretty handy, isn't it? So I'm going to buy 28. And then that way I'm not overspending. Very smart. Right, so I'm spending 11,172 reals on, on, on those grapefruits. Plus right. tax. Carry on with the story. 
Uh, yeah, I even I was just going to say I even contemplated um, some sort of swimming event. Okay, bless you. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, did you do this all by yourself? Uh, me and my sister when we were little. Oh, you and your sister, yeah. Oh, nice. Because she didn't want to run around like an idiot. She just right. she was quite happy timing it and writing it down. All oh, right, fair enough. Bless her. Um, don't forget to take your grapefruits out of your warehouse and put them in your ship's hold. Good shout, mate, because I would have done exactly that. Yeah. Cool. I'm ready right. to go. I'm not yet. I'm going to get my timer out. Oh, yeah. Uh, How long did it take us? Well, it's just gone 10 minutes now, so I reckon about 7 to 8 minutes that was. All so right. it's probably about 15 minutes for the next sale. Oh, right. I'm ready to leave port. You ready to leave port? I'm ready to leave port. All right, leave port then. And I'm going to go port side and round that way, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. As soon as I get in the world, I'm going. Well, you, you're yeah. a lot faster than me, mate. Like, you're in the game already. Right, time is away. Plum waits for no man. You know this. Yeah, true. And if we get attacked by pirates, it's better if one of us make it. Damn, I hit the shallows. Don't follow me. I might scrape through there, but yeah, no. if you if you get too close to that shoreline, mate, gonna have you. Right, I reckon half an hour. You reckon it's gonna be half an hour? Yeah, I reckon it'll take us half an hour to sail there. That's my guess. Well, that's ten. I think it's going to take longer than that. You think? Okay. Yeah. I think it's actually going to take a long time. Right, which, way, which, which direction are we heading in, buddy? We want to be kind going of... Going northeast at the moment. Yeah, we have a full pelt on northeast then. The way the wind's blowing, I want to sort of get as far up as I can and then come across it. Are you going northeast to not northeast to east? Uh, I'm I'm northeast east. Yeah, so you're in the, you're in the middle of the both of them. Yeah. All right, okay. Well, not really. No, north north east. Yeah, that's probably more accurate. North north. No, that would be the other side. I'm basically just off northeast. Right, okay. 24 knots. 23. I'm getting 25, just slightly more to the right. The, sorry, to the starboard side. <laughs> Gonna be a long sail this uh a long sail.